Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are doing another unboxing for Date Night In. So last month, I did the Faith Night In version. I wanted to try the uh, the Date Night In version. So the Faith Night In is a date, but it kind of invites God into the situation where you can kind of grow in your faith together with your spouse. This one is just a lot more focused on a romance part of uh, your marriage. And so uh, this is the box. It has like kind of a Parisian theme and um, it smells good. I'm not sure what exactly it smells like. Mm. So before I received the box, I did get an email that had a, a menu planned and a shopping list already for me. And the meal looks really delicious. I know that was one of the big highlights from the previous date that we did together for the Winter Wonderland. We just enjoyed trying some, some new things we never tried before and it was pretty quick to put together the meal. So it wasn't a, like a whole lot of work, but it ha there were some really unique dishes. So that was really cool. So um, we were excited about that. There's like um, cheese uh, stuffed figs with walnuts. There's a baguette with ratatouille on it and a cr um, homemade cream puffs. And there's something else, I don't remember, but it really all looks so delicious. So we're gonna get right into this unboxing of the Delivered With Love Date Night In. So I'm really excited. Last one was just so creative. So I'm looking forward to, oh, something else I need to mention was that they had us uh, pick a date and time that we would want to return to. So I asked Ben, like, well, do you have something in mind, like a really nice date or experience we had together that you'd want to go back in time to? And uh, so it was just kind of fun. It's already been kind of fun to discuss, like where would, when would we go back in time together? So, okay, so here we go, doing the opening. So here is the literature, and last time I started to read it, and it gave some things away. So I think I'm gonna wait to read this one. But um, oh, it looks so cute! Deliver with love, and it's a guidebook on how to do your date. I really love all the um, thought they put into the boxes and to the literature, and everything just really has uh, like a neat theme. Ooh, whoa! Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so um, they have a little snack and it's crepes. These are French crepes with chocolate. Oh, and that's awesome. They're like non-GMO, no artificial ingredients, no preservatives. That is so cool. So crepes on the go and they gave us a lot too. There's one, two, three, four, five, I think six. French bakers since 1885. We are proud to bring you authentic buttery and flavor crepes made with love. Crafting each product with care. We use high quality ingredients. Very cool. Okay, so they recommend that you heat these up in the microwave for a few seconds. And you can top with whipped cream if you have it around. That is so cool. It looks very authentic. Okay, so that's the first thing. Ah, that's what I'm smelling. Ah, oh, lavender, this smells great. Ooh, makes me want to, I don't know, put it in a bath or something. Mmm, oh, I like that. Okay, we have some pins, night in boxes. Okay. My love letter to you. So these are different envelopes. And um, it just says my love letter to you. And then there's some other envelopes with one, with numbers, one, two, three, four, five. Now I want to open these, but then at the same time, I don't want to spoil. Okay, they're sealed, so I guess that's something that I will open uh, with Ben when we do our date. Hmm, cool. I do like letters, and Ben was such a good, he's so good with emails and writing and things, and I feel like letters give you the opportunity to really be thoughtful and to say all that's on your heart because there's no interruption from the other person. And I'm so bad at like adding to Ben what he's saying or <laughs> interrupting, poor guy. Okay, let me see. Profile cards. So this might be a little bit of a game. Oh yeah, okay. This looks like a little, maybe a little bit of a history game. I'm not sure exactly but uh, I'm just gonna take it out of this. Okay, so here's what we got, these little cards. Choose a profile from the following cards to be your identity for the evening. Oh, that's fun. So we have Patrick Williams, Daily Chronicle reporter, age 34, Mary Walsh, 
ambulance driver, <laughs> age 32, Rosemary Cooper, dreamer of the spotlight, age 29, Richard Alden, um, I, have, I don't know what that means. I'm just gonna show you that because it's in French. Can you see that? Uh, okay, let me see. There we go. Hmm, what is that? I don't know. Okay, so that looks really fun. Okay, so on to the next. Ooh. Okay, they have these really uh, nice kind of cream notepads. So that looks really cute. It's got the date night or the night in box logo on it. And I like the script that they use. It is romantic. Okay, and the last thing. Oh, you guys, that is so cool. Have you guys heard of the Five Love Languages book? It's by uh, Chapman, I think is the author's last name. And I think it can be one of the most game-changing books you can read together as a couple or at least get a summary of it or, um, yeah, okay, here they have it. <laughs> they have it on here by Dr. Gary Chapman. So this quiz, there's basically, um, if I can explain, basically there's five love languages in how you, how you receive love and also in how you show the way that you love somebody. So for some people, it may be words of affirmation. That's how you really feel love when somebody praises you or say you did such a good job with this or I love the way that you did this or that. And that makes you feel the most loved. Whereas other people, they feel the most loved when you hug them, like, and that's physical touch, physical, physical affection. And so sometimes we will show love in the way that we feel the most loved. So maybe we are very encouraging to our spouse and we tell them they're doing such a great job with this, but maybe we're not as affectionate with them as they would, as they would like to make them feel very loved. So sometimes, even though we really love our spouse, we're not communicating it in a way that they understand it or that they really feel it. You know, and sometimes I think husbands um, can uh, feel like they're showing their love by the way that they take care of us. You know, they're providing a home for us or, you know, they, they do take out the trash or maybe they'll build us something and that's them showing that they love us very much but maybe we're like, oh, he never writes me poetry or he never sings me songs or he doesn't plan romantic dates for me. It's like, he doesn't love me but that's not it at all. Like, he's been showing that he loves you by all of these services that he's doing for you but maybe you don't recognize it. So, basically, that was a long, <laughs> long explanation but this quiz is to help you find out what um, each other's love language is so that you can do things for your spouse um, that will make them feel the most loved and they, they can understand what they need to do for you to make you feel the most loved. So I think it's such a great tool and like, wow, Ben and I haven't done this. We've kind of discussed it a little bit. Like, what do you think you are? But I think it'd be really cool to take a quiz and to know for sure. But uh, wow, that's so neat. And I love that this is not just a romantic evening, um, which it, it certainly looks like it's going to be, but that they have something that could really benefit um, marriages. And so I'm really excited about that. Okay, so I'm gonna put all this back and we're gonna look at our little date guide to find out what all this is for. And the date night inboxes also include a playlist for the evening. I just love how they kind of think of everything. There's the scent going on, we have the music, we have uh, the food that they've prepared that go along with the theme, so they really do so well. Okay, here we go, let's get started. Welcome, we are so excited to deliver with love this date night in to you. This month we will be placing our own twist on an escape room and you and your loved one will embark on a journey set back in time. Our hope is to let you escape for a moment from the hustle and bustle of life and let your imagination and heart receive this date. Okay, so here's the little coaching guide here. It says, set the mood. Take some time to really set the mood for your date tonight. Cook, is, cook your suggested... <laughs> Cook your suggested dinner recipe. Our friend Marina Mix has created an incredible complete menu for you to enjoy tonight, including a grocery shopping list to make things easy on you. It's totally optional, but due to customer requests, we include it as an option. Enjoy your Parisian snack, transport yourself to a small cafe in France, and enjoy your Jacques ready to eat. Oh, how do you say that? Jacquet? Jacquet. Jacket. Ready to eat chocolate French grapes. Learn about love languages and take the quiz. See what love language you and your partner relate to in, your, in our love languages quiz. 
embark on your delivered date with love adventure, travel back in time, and put into action displaying your love language as you work together. Enjoy the rest of your night. So they give you more coaching on how to set the mood. They talk about finding a cozy spot and lighting some candles. Let me see. They say to dim the lights and tune into the playlist. I wonder if it's going to sound very Parisian. Let's see. Then of course they have the menu that they've suggested. Cool. So they talk about the little snack, the crepes, that they're made with cage-free eggs and that's with pure butter, non-GMO ingredients. So that's really neat. So here's their little explanation of the five love languages. It says, when entering into a relationship with someone, finding that spark is usually not hard. But it's after the spark fades and like turns into love that a relationship tends to become a little more real and trying. Finding someone who will push you to become the best version of yourself is a blessing. A lot of relationships reveal struggles with trying to interpret the best way to show love and adoration for the partner. Dr. Gary Chapman has written a wonderful book, The Five Love Languages, explaining the different types of love languages unique to any one person. The different love languages he's found most common are words of affirmation, quality time, receiving gifts, acts of service, and physical touch. Most people feel more than one love language applies to them. And to some degrees, degree, most of us respond to all five. So it goes in to explain the different uh, five love languages in detail, the five love languages. And let me see. All right, so this is the fun part. Um, let me see, tonight we are putting a twist on an escape room. You will travel back in time to embark upon an extraordinary journey together. This journey will take you across the world as you find yourselves in search of your love's destiny. It is the year 1919. The peace treaty was signed late last year in Compiègne, oh dear, <clears throat> Compiègne, Compiègne, France. It has been exactly five years since the assassination of Franz Ferdinand and the war is over. Almost three years have gone by since you've seen each other face to face. Your sole line of communication has been through letters, often weeks or months delayed. So much has happened during your time apart, but your love remains strong. Although your letters have had, the, had to be censored at times and are worn from travel, you cling to every word and they are your most cherished possessions. So you have, oh sorry, you have to read and reread each one dreaming of the day that you would find each other again. Choose your character. To begin, grab your included profile cards and choose a character for the night. Now that you know who you are, have a little fun getting into character. So it's kind of like a murder mystery. I love murder mysteries. They're so much fun. Yay! Okay, use your imagination to come up with the story of how you met, choose an accent, and even do a little dress up. Yeah, that sounds like so much fun. You've both been given clues by a trusted source to meet each other in a specific place at an appointed time of day, a rendezvous. You have both written one final letter to each other full of all the things you've always wanted to write but couldn't. Your plan is to hand deliver these letters to each other when you finally meet face to face. Write your love letters. Before you begin your journey, spend some time writing your letters as yourselves, not your characters. Use your included pen and pad of paper and let the prompts below give you some, oh, I like that, give you some prompts. Give you some inspiration as you write. Really take your time and use these letters to speak from your heart. It is not often that we take the opportunity to think about or share the answers to these questions. Turn up the volume on your Spotify playlist and give yourselves 20 to 30 minutes to complete this part of tonight's activity. Aww, there's some really sweet prompts in here such as over time together, our time together, I most cherished memory is, um, or our biggest lesson learned together has been, thank you for introducing me to, the most precious gift you've ever given me is, when we are apart, I hold tightly to, his flannel shirt, I can tell you that one right now. <laughs> Here's a story I never told you. When we grow old, above all else, I love you because. Once you have sealed your letters, set them aside for later on this evening. I love that. Oh, this sounds really fun and romantic. Instructions. Your trusted mutual friend has found a way to deliver this box to you. Inside you will find envelopes numbered one to five. You must work together and use these clues to identify the time and location for your meeting. Do not open the next envelope until you have found the answer to the previous clue. That's so cool, so maybe there are riddles or something. You can keep track of your answers by writing them on the outside of each envelope, and I'm really glad we get to work together. 
Once you have successfully identified the details of your reunion, you will have sealed the fate of your love story. After opening clues one through four, have you found each other? Open your final letter to see if you have uncovered the correct details about your meeting. Time to read your letters. If you have successfully answered each clue, you may now exchange the letters that you wrote earlier this evening. Read your letter aloud to your partner or give them to each other to read quietly. Enjoy the rest of your night till next month. That is a really neat date. I'm so excited about this date. I think it's gonna be just a really special time and a lot of fun. So the last time that I did an unboxing, I put my review, I kind of gave you an update and shared some pictures on Instagram. Um, I will probably do that again. I did an Insta story, so that means that it will disappear, like when I do a live video to tell you how it went. That's going to disappear um, after 24 hours. So if you're not connected with me on Instagram, I would love to connect with you over there. I can't say that I post a ton on there, but I like the platform for doing little updates and things like that. So you can um, go over there and get connected with me and then you'll see when I do my little review and update on how it went and what we thought about it and everything so if you would like to learn more about date night inboxes you'll find all the information below my partnership link below um, I think it's just been really fun so far uh, these past two months working with date night in and that will continue until the end of the year and then we'll kind of I'll kind of think about what the next steps are for that so thank you so much for joining me in this video today I will see you in the next one. Bye.